everybody, and welcome to Cade Cat News. I'm Austin Fondestill, and with me is Cade Becker. First off this week's, we all know that winter sports is starting, and along with that comes wrestling. Let's throw it over Victory Lane to get the scoop on that. Hello, and I'm Lane Becker, and I'm going to give you the inside scoop on what's going on with the upcoming wrestling season. Let's get to it. With the Wildcats having eight returning seniors, they're looking to be just as good as last year, if not better. One of the main goals this team has this year is to return to being league champions. The team has two returning state medalists, including Anthony Scantlin with his second state championship, aiming to get a third, and Dalen Jorns taking fifth at last year's tournament. Good luck to this year's wrestling team. That's all for me, Lane Becker, KCAT News. Tryouts are December 8th at Derby Bowl, and we have quite a few people going out this year, so we'll have um, a little bit of, I guess, a competition at tryouts, but I feel like um, it'll be good, and I'm glad that we have a lot of people going out this year. Um, so this season, this year, uh, is actually looking pretty good. Since we have a lot of people going out, um, I feel like we'll have a lot of new talent and um, new uh, newcomers that will uh, give this team a new edge for our upcoming season. Thanks guys, I cannot wait to see what our athletes have in store for us this season. Uh, next up, the Mulvane High School Theater Department put on Shrek the Musical. It had a big turnout and was a huge success. Now here's Robert with a recap. On the 17th, 18th, and 19th, the Mulvane Theater Department put on their annual fall musical. This year, it was Shrek the Musical. I caught up with some of the cast members to see what went into making Shrek the Musical. Being Shrek, did you take inspiration from Shrek the actual movie, from Mike Myers' character, or anything like that? Well, um, I really started to watch uh, Shrek the Musical a lot over the summer, and that's how I gained my accent, and I tried to sing like him as much as possible, and he really inspired me to do really good. How did it feel to become Fiona? To be Fiona was an amazing challenge and opportunity. I loved being a princess, but yet being imperfect, which was the best thing. What was your favorite moment from Shrek the Musical? Well, I have two favorite moments, one on stage and one off. But um, my favorite on stage was doing I'm a Believer every night with the whole cast on stage and just having a great time. And off stage would be every single time that I got to have a quick change and have a moment with my team and panic, but yet like love it every second. How did it feel to be Donkey? Well... <clears throat> Being Donkey was pretty fun. Um, I was really afraid I was going to make it racist, but I'm pretty sure I didn't. How do you think uh, Shrek the Musical turned out? How hard was it being Lord Farquaad? Yeah, it, it wasn't actually that hard being Lord Farquaad. Uh, a lot of people, the, the main question I got asked after the show was, oh, do your, do your knees hurt? And I was like, I had knee pads, so I was like, fine. Um, but that was like the main question I got and it wasn't it wasn't even like the pain was like very minimal it wouldn't last very long all right that's all the questions I have for you except uh, I, I just want you to know you're one mighty handsome boy oh you too you look mighty good yourself thanks for that Robert and good job to the cast and crew of Shrek the Musical as we all know winter form was this Saturday so I'm gonna pass it over to Olya to get the inside scoop at what's happening Sorry guys, I'm just so ready for the dance. Let's get more information about it from Mrs. Marsh. The Snowflake Soiree is this Saturday from 8 to 11 p.m. Um, there's a couple of misconceptions about the dance that we'd like to clear up. One is that it's a winter formal. Technically, it's not a win winter formal dance. We only say that because we don't want people to not show up because they don't have a fancy dress or a suit and a tie or something like that. So just know that if you want to dress up, go for it. If you want to buy something new, you can, but you don't have to. We will let you in with your ticket, um, even if you're in jeans and a t-shirt. So just, we want people to know that it's not a required dress up thing and then you don't have to come in formal attire. Um, the other misconception is that it's a Sadie Hawkins dance where girls ask, the guys to dance or girls ask the guys to go to the dance 
girls if you want to ask guys to go to the dance do it more power to you you can ask whoever you want to the dance but we don't want people to not show up because they don't have a date or we don't want people to not show up because a girl didn't ask them to the dance so just know that you can come with a group of people or by yourself or with a date it doesn't matter so or with a friend whatever um, so it doesn't matter we just want to make sure that it's clear that we want everyone to come. You can buy tickets for Mrs. Woods or myself, $7 each, and we want you to come and have fun and enjoy the decorations that we have and the snacks and the drinks and the music. I think that's all that you have to enjoy. So um, come out and have fun, but know that you don't have to show up in formal attire and you don't have to have a date. Thanks for all of the information. Today is the last day to buy your ticket, so hurry up. Ola Dolinska, KCAT News. Thanks, Olya. And for all you who plan on attending, don't do drugs, kids. And in completely unrelated news, I have some information about the upcoming Hobie Leadership Seminar. Any sophomore who likes taking on leadership roles at school and in the community should consider applying to attend Hobie, the Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Seminar. Hobie's purpose is to bring together a select group of high school sophomores who have demonstrated leadership abilities so they can interact with groups of distinguished leaders in business, government, education, and the professions to discuss issues. In the words of Mrs. Hinky, it is a great experience and will look fabulous on your college applications. But don't just take her word for it. Here are a few words from students who went to the seminar when they were sophomores. The students I get chosen to go to Hobie have the ability to learn how to be a stronger leader and have the chance to meet so many great people in the process. My favorite memories about Hobie were you get to spend a lot of time with people you've never met before and you're also in the dorms with other people that you don't know at all. So you get to meet new people and experience dorm life and it's overall pretty good. I wasn't really nervous about it after I got there. Um, getting, hard, getting there was the hardest part. You're kind of nervous about meeting new people and um, kind of just figuring out who your group is. With the exception of personal spending money and transportation, this seminar is free of charge. All other expenses are covered by the Mulvane Optimus Club. To apply for the seminar, see Mrs. Hinky in the counseling office to pick up a form. The application deadline has been extended to next Friday, December 9th. After all applicants are considered, two students will be selected to attend the Hobie Seminar. The seminar will take place at Kansas State University in June of 2017. For KCAT News, I'm Austin Fawn and Still. Back to me. Who is that imposter pretending to be me? Uh, anyways, uh, before we go, we have a couple of announcements. Um, uh, first up, the Penny War is next week. This is a fundraiser hosted by Student Council um, to raise money for the Mulvane Toys for Kids program. The rules are simple. Each grade is competing with each other. And any denomination of money with a 1 is worth positive points. And money with a 2 or a 5 is negative. And this two or five, you know, money, this can be used to bomb other grade levels. After the end of the week, whoever has the most points will win the contest. In other news, make sure you get your stocking stuffer, a.k.a. your spirit socks, this Christmas, only for $10. And last up, if you haven't uh, bought your senior suit loot yet, we still have a few spots available. A fourth a page with three pictures is $80, and if a half a page with five pictures is $170. Be sure to see Mr. Rabbit Solo as soon as possible. They are available on a first come, first serve basis. That's all we have for this week. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching KCAT News. I now know what I'm thankful for this Thanksgiving. What would that be? That this episode is over. Exactly. Let's go. Time for lunch. <sighs>